Okay, let's walk through an exam question. We're going to do transformers over a series of videos now. We're going to do input voltage, output voltage. We're going to look at the current flow. We're going to look at the ratio between each side of the transformer. And we're going to look at the number of turns on each side and how to calculate all of that. But this one, we're just doing the input voltage. So let's have a look. Here we can see we've got a question at the top we're going to tackle now. And we can see our transformer on the right hand side here, can't we? Bit of a crude drawing, but it's okay. We know what we're looking at, don't we? Let's read the question. A transformer has 495 primary and 18 secondary turns and has a secondary voltage of 400 volts. What value is the input voltage? Right, so let's underline that. That's what we're being asked for, input voltage. Okay, so we'll go over here and we'll do this in this left-hand side in a minute, but let's analyze this first. So a transformer, that's this thing we obviously know. 495 primary turns, that's this bit here, okay? and 18 secondary turns, right, fine. So we could calculate the ratio between that, couldn't we? But we'll do that afterwards. And there's a secondary voltage of 400 volts. So we know the, the output voltage, we know the secondary and primary turns. Okay, we're being asked for the input voltage, right. This is the formula you're gonna to wanna to use for this. So we're gonna to wanna to do input voltage is equal to the output voltage multiplied by the turns on the primary side divided by the turns on the secondary side okay so we're going to divide the terms on the primary by the turns on the secondary which is that number and that number and we're going to multiply it by the output voltage okay so let's do that below here now first of all let's do turns on primary turns on secondary then multiply it by 400 so we're going to have this arm, it's going to look like 400 volts, because that's our output voltage there, output voltage. And we're going to multiply it by these two guys together, by 495, which is our primary turns on the top line, and divide it by 18, which is our secondary turns on this side. Okay. And then if we, if we do this bit first, that's going to be this, basically. We're going to be doing... 27.5 and 400 because when you do this 495 divided by 18 that gives you 27.5 which we'll talk about in a second well what's that going to give us that's going to give us a number of 11,000 volts as our input voltage or we could tackle that down couldn't we to 11 kilovolts okay perfect so we've done that let's go back and talk about this at the beginning we said we could have worked out the ratio between these, couldn't we? We want to know how, how this is an, obviously a step down transformer, isn't it? We've got more turns on the primary side than the secondary side. Okay, so a step in the voltage down. That's become very obvious now because we know that the input voltage was 11 kilovolts and it's been stepped down to 400 volts. Well, what's the actual ratio here? What's the ratio? We've already calculated that really, haven't we? By doing 495 divided by 18. We know that the ratio is this number here. That's why I said we'll talk about it in a minute. So the ratio is going to be 27.5 to 1. Because look, if we do 27.5 multiplied by 400, we're going to get 11,000, aren't we, like we know, which is stepping that voltage up like that. But obviously, this is a step down transformer and if you do like we did here, 495 divided by 18, you get 27.5. So that's our ratio. So the step down transformer and the ratio is 27.5 to 1. And we've calculated our input voltage over here. Okay, so next video we'll do the output voltage.